I can leave my solar panels on top of the roof. I, get, I can plug my Blue Eddy, one of my Blue Eddies, into my van while I'm driving with the 12 volt plug. Come with me, I'll show you. Whether I'm camping on the Straits of Michigan at the Mackinac Bridge or in the desert on Christmas morning in Arizona, quartzite. Charging my Blue Eddy panels. Yeah, everything's in that book. What tells you? How many watts it is, how many, you know, it, it's 600 watts of power, and everything you need to know. You can see this model has two USBs and one USB-C, which is great. It also has a light. Well, there it goes. Ah! Two things and an SOS. So before I charge anything, I am going to plug it in. I'm going to have to use AC, which is fine. I am in a campground, so I have power. I'm going to charge it up before I demonstrate the features on EB3A. So I'm boondocking, and it's cold out, so I need some heat. So I'm just going to crank up my... Blue Eddy and plug in my little throw blanket. Always check the wattage because you may have to turn on the eco and use the power lift if you have a higher wattage on your item. And as you can see here, I also have my phone charging at the you're same time. Van, you're living in your car, you're living in a little teardrop and you're boondocking or you don't and it's cold and you don't have heat it's a 600 watt inverter sine wave inverter so i had to get the app and the first thing i did on the app was go into you know the bluetooth get signed in and go to the settings page and then that's where i will turn on my eco and then to, after eco you got to go and turn on the turbo check out these pages that i put in there for you okay so now let's turn it on and let's see it's doing it it's working I feel the heat coming out ta-da it's gonna make my life so much easier where do you keep your blue eddy eb3a